Hi everybody, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend and a nice Sunday. Morning low was 42 degrees below normal and cold. Afternoon high though recovered nicely at 73 and above normal. Our winds have shifted to the southeast now at about 9 miles an hour, so a little breezy, but not bad. And the dew point temperatures because of the winds off the water have come up from the 30s and 40s over the weekend to 50s on this Sunday night and uh, they will continue to rise. They are uh, fairly higher by 5 to 10 degree dew point temperature degrees over this time yesterday. So that means the humidity is rising. That's going to lead to a little fog overnight. As you can see on our visibility forecast right now, no problems, but down to about a mile by 7 in the morning, maybe even zero in inland places like Falfurius. So a little bit of fog coming our way. Not as bad in the city as it will be further inland. High pressure over the top of us and dry air in brown were also conducive for the development of fog at the surface. The only thing that's not conducive is the wind, keeping the air stirred up just a little bit. Primarily a zonal flow right now, so not too hot, not too cold. Don't have to worry about any freezes with a weather pattern like this. And here it is over the rest of the week. Again, a little drop in the jet stream here sends a front through tomorrow night and early, early on a Tuesday morning. And then the ridge builds back into the region, so nice the middle of the week. Then another low drops into position, and this one a little bit further south. So this front will be a little bit stronger here coming in on Friday. May generate a couple showers, but we'd like to see that low down here in Mexico in order for us to see significant rain. So that's really not going to happen. So the uh, first front in our seven-day forecast is from Dallas to Del Rio right now. It's not coming through until about 25 to 26 hours from now. So it's really kind of kind of hit the brakes. This front up here in the Pacific Northwest won't be in until Friday. All right, here's the uh, future cloud and rain. Again, we have uh, sunny skies. Tomorrow's going to be another nice day. That front about 1 a.m. will generate maybe a sprinkle here on Tuesday early in the morning, but not much, and then it clears out after that. The winds, they look like this across the region. They'll be light out of the south in the morning, contributing to the fog. Light tomorrow afternoon out of the southeast. Here comes the front 2 a.m. on Tuesday. It clears the coastal bend, so it'll start about midnight up to the north, and by 2 a.m. it'll be through the entire region. And then the winds will lighten up behind the front. Another wonderful day here on Wednesday. Overnight forecast, it's 56 right now. We'll hold in the mid to low 50s right on through daybreak with that fog forming and a light south wind. For the day planner for tomorrow, 53 at 7, a milder start than the 44 we had this morning. 71, breezy but nice at noon, and 70 with sunshine, warm and sunny at 5 o'clock tomorrow. High tomorrow reaches 78 degrees here in Corpus Christi with 80 in Alice, Falfurious, and Hebronville, but only 68 over on Mustang Island. Your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast, 50 with fog tonight, primarily inland, 78. Nice tomorrow, the front late tomorrow night is dry, 48 and 68 on Tuesday, then 44 and 70 on Wednesday. It gets windy Wednesday afternoon, Thursday and Friday. There's our Friday front with a couple sprinkles, and then it gets chilly again with lows in the 40s and highs in the 60s and a little below normal for this time of the year for next weekend, but we will have lots of sunshine. That's a look at weather. Jeff DeBroff will be along with sports. He's up next. Stay with us.